Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we're creating that awesome like, glitter sparkle effect that's everywhere on Instagram. It's really easy to do. Basically, we're just going to be taking in some sample images of glitter textures, applying them using a blend mode over top of our image, and then using a custom Photoshop brush to paint in extra sparkles. So we're starting off in Photoshop with our sample image that you guys can download using the link down below. And we're going to go adding our glitter textures. So let's go up to file and we're going to go down to where it says place linked. This is going to allow us to choose our textures. I'm going to hit place here and it's going to put it right into my document. Now, in this case, I actually have a few of these textures. So we're going to hit place linked a couple of times. There we go. And each time I do, you're going to see it's just going to place my glitter texture right inside of my document. In this case, I'm going to be using four different glitter textures. There we go. Just do this a couple of times and they're all going to be right on top of my subject. Perfect. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is shift click all of my glitter textures. You can see they're all smart objects here. I'm just going to change the blending mode from normal. We're going to go down to screen. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with our first texture. Basically, the trick here is using layer masks to paint it in visible just where you want it to be visible. But we want to make sure we're drawing a lot of attention to our subjects. So let's go ahead and start with our layer mask. I'm going to have this be visible everywhere our subjects clothes are visible. So let's go ahead and start. You can just grab your lasso tool. So L for your lasso tool. And you don't even really have to be that precise here because you're just creating a layer mask and you can change this at any time. So we're just going to go ahead and do a rough cutout of my subject. There we go. Real, real quick here. All right. Now let's hold shift so I can add to my selection. There we go. And we're just going to trace around my other subject. Don't forget, you guys can clean this up with the layer mask. So if it's not perfect right now, like mine is not perfect, as you can see, no big deal. All right. Let's go ahead and just get this right around our subject. Looks good. Now that we have our selections active, all I have to do is click on my layer mask button and it's going to automatically make the glitter only visible where we want it. So let's go right down here and click on our layer mask icon. And as you can see, it loads that selection automatically into a layer mask. Now here on our layer mask, you can paint white where you want it to be visible and black where you want it to be invisible. So I'm going to hit B for the brush tool and I'm just going to paint black right over my subject's arm because we don't want it to be visible there. There we go. Nice and easy. And this is why earlier we said it doesn't have to be perfect when you make your selection because you can always come in here and change it with your brush tool at any time. There we go. And kind of make it invisible or visible around the hair as well. All right. So that looks good as a first step. Now we're going to be doing this in a couple different rounds. But one thing that's really important about this effect is we want to make sure that our background image is just a little bit darker and that's going to make this effect stand out more. So I'm going to click on my background right here and then we're going to go to our adjustment layers and I'm going to go to where it says levels. We're going to add a levels adjustment layer and I'm going to take my lights and we're just going to make these a little bit darker. So it's basically just darkening my entire image just a little bit and that allows our sparkle effect to be a little bit brighter. Now, if you want your sparkle effect to be even more contrasty, use levels on your sparkle layer as well. Hit Ctrl or Command L on your sparkle layer. There we go. And we can see now we've added a smart filter here and I can go to my levels and I can add contrast. So all I have to do is just bring up my darks a little bit and bring up my lights a little bit. And look at that. We have a lot more of a contrast on our glitter sparkle effect. And obviously you can just choose whatever type of effect you want. You can also, by the way, click on this little chain link here between the layer and the layer mask, and that is going to unlink the layer and the layer mask. Now, check it out. The layer mask stays in the same place, but if I want to hit Ctrl or Command T and move my layer around, I can do that really easily, but it's only going to be visible where I want it to be visible, and I can even change the size of it. Ah, oh, so, so cool. So let's go ahead and hit enter there and I think we're off to a really good start. Now we have a few different glitter effects. So this one I think looks awesome. Let's hit control or command T to make it a little bit smaller. It's already looking like red. So let's go ahead and use our lasso selection tool. So L for the lasso. We're just going to draw around the areas we want it to be visible. In this case, I'm just going to choose the areas that are already red here. Of course, you can change these colors at any time using hue saturation. 
There we go. And let's go ahead and click here on our layer mask. It's gonna make it only visible there. And then we have this really cool effect just where we want it. So obviously this is like a creative effect, right? There's no right or wrong here. You can just put it, you know, on your subject's clothes. That's kind of like the most popular effect that I've seen is like right over top of clothing and things like that. But obviously you can just put this anywhere you want it. So we're already looking good and we can continue to add from here. Let's go ahead and turn on our next texture. And this one, I just wanna be visible where the blue areas are, but I wanna make some adjustments to this because I want it to be really saturated and really blue. So I'm gonna hit Controller Command U for our hue slash saturation, and then check this out. You can click on this Colorize button here and then change the color. So it doesn't matter what color you start with for your glitter effect, you can make it whatever color fits best for your image. So any of these glitter textures can become any color. Turning that off and then back on, how cool is that? So let's just grab our lasso tool. I'm just gonna do a really rough trace here around this seven. There we go. Fantastic. Again, keep in mind you can fix this using your layer mask. So the goal here is not to be super perfect with this. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna just click on my layer mask icon, boom. So we're looking great. Now the next thing I wanna do is duplicate one of my textures and then I can just simply change the color. So on our texture layer here that we just did, let's hit controller command J, which duplicates it. And then I can just simply double click right here on hue saturation and check this out, I can change the hue to whatever I want, and I'm gonna disable my layer mask. So now we have a fun green color, and I'm gonna bring this over top of the socks on my image. Here we go, let's go ahead and fill our layer mask with white. I'm gonna use my lasso tool, so we're just gonna lasso over top of the socks. Socks gotta have sparkle too, can't forget about that. All right, hold shift and go ahead and paint this in right over top of these socks as well. Nice, and on our layer mask, I'm gonna invert that and then deselect and then hit Controller Command I again. And then this time, let's go back to our hue saturation. I'm just gonna bring down our lightness just a little bit, and that's gonna make the effect a little bit more subtle. Okay, so we're almost done with our glitter texture. We got one more for you. Let's go ahead and turn this on. I think this is looking really cool already. I love those green socks. This other texture is kind of like glitter, but I just think it's a little bit of fun, right? It's like firecrackers or some lights or some things like that. So you can use really any type of texture that you see. Now, let's say I want this to only be visible where my subject's shirts are visible. Well, I already made a layer mask for that. It's right down here on this layer. So I can hold Alt or Option and click and drag this layer mask up to this texture too, and look at that. Now, that's gonna be visible only where that other layer was visible. So a real quick way to add something like that, I can hit Controller Command J, and then because my layer and my layer mask are not linked, I can then move that around and check this out. It's still only gonna be visible where my subject's shirt is visible. So I've got a couple different layers here with that extra sparkle effect. So now we're gonna load our Photoshop brush that's included for free with this tutorial, and that's gonna allow us to paint more sparkles. So all you have to do is go to your download, go to your Photoshop brush, and then click on Flurn Glitter Sparkle Brush.abr. Just go ahead and double click that. It's gonna automatically load it into Photoshop. Then all you have to do is use your brush tool. So we're gonna hit B for our brush tool, then we're gonna right click and then we're gonna go right to where it says Flurn Glitter Sparkle Brush. And you're gonna see there are two brushes in here. We have one that scatters and then one for a single. So let's go ahead and click on our first one. This is the Flurn Scatter Sparkle Brush. And I'm just gonna paint this on a new layer. Let's go ahead and group all of our textures together. So we'll just double click there and call it Glitter Textures. All right. So here on my layer, all I have to do is grab my brush tool. We're just gonna paint with white, and you can see as I paint around, check this out, it just adds my glitter sparkle wherever I want. Now, this is a brush tool. You can make it larger or smaller. You can paint with any color. For instance, I could grab 
I can hold Alt or Option and grab this pink color and change it to here and then do something like Color Dodge. And then I've got this really cool pink color that I can play with and I can make my brush larger or smaller. So I can grab some of this blue color and paint around with the blue color if I want, the pink color, anything I want, just go ahead and paint it in here and we're getting a really cool sparkle effect. Don't forget, it's gotta be visible here. There we go. On our socks as well, I can grab the green color and make it visible on the socks. Ooh, this is so fun. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm having a good time. Uh, and if you don't want it to be visible somewhere like right here in the middle, let's say you want it to be invisible there, just click on your layer mask icon, choose just a regular brush and just paint it black in that area. And then you can choose where you want it to be visible. And then I went ahead and included a new brush as well. So in the same download, there's a Flurn Glitter Sparkle Single. And this is just gonna create one sparkle effect basically wherever you click. So if you wanted it to be like ding on your subject's teeth right there, you can just like zoom in. There we go, find your little sparkle on your subject's teeth and click there and you get the little sparkle. So this is not like a randomized effect. This is like click wherever you want it to be visible and you can make a larger brush or a smaller brush, bing, and put it wherever you want and you're good to go. And there we have it with a little cleanup. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. Here's our image before and our after. Don't forget, we also did the socks. How fun is that? I absolutely love this effect. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, you can download all of these assets, including the textures, the brush, and the PSD on flurn.com for free. Just follow the link right down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. We'll send you a free tutorial every single week. Thanks again, and I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.